you know, when he built it, he said that most people, after a few years, want a bigger pond. Yes. Well, after three months, four months, I said, I want a bigger pond. <laughs> Did you see Harley? No, show me Harley. This is Harley right here. That big butterfly koi. Yeah. That is a bruiser. Wow, Harley. <laughs> that is one big fish. That's gotta be two feet long. 35 pounds. 35 pounds, jeez. Well, it's not the most beautiful day, but you know what? We're having a beautiful time, aren't we, Sean? Oh yeah, always. 18 years, you said? Yep, 18 years. 18 years working for Dean at uh, Aquatica up here in Wisconsin, and we're out visiting some of their beautiful ponds. I'm Greg Witzak, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzak, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle, including Hoff here, <laughs> the Pond Guy, Greg. Why do you call this guy Hoff? He's the Hoff. He's a legend in our company. A legend. He's the, the hawk. Well, I can tell you what, I don't know what you got, but your front yard is certainly beautiful. Oh, thank you. Wow, this path, it just draws you back. Holy cow, the whole backyard. And big fish, wow. And it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. I'm assuming you did multiple stages. This is uh, phase two right here. We built a beautiful pond for Jim, and then we actually made it bigger. I, uh -huh. I How did that work? You know, when he built it, he said that most people, after a few years, want a bigger pond. Yes. Well, after three months, four months, I said, I want a bigger pond. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pondless waterfall over there and this is the pond so two separate systems we want to just to yeah but it, it appears that it's connected doesn't it jim's backyard is unique in that the slope is coming towards his view we really just wanted to step out the back door here and be with nature everything about this property you know a suburban setting but you don't feel like it no like you said you have a place up north and this is what you wanted to create that same feeling here right. i had a little horseshoe shape uh, land and stone and earth uh -huh. stone, and we had a volcano yeah pond. Yeah, it was a, a volcano fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, absolutely. So a high with rocks just stacked with a pipe coming out the top. It was very underwhelming for Jim to have and look at here. And we were called in. To, he told me what his vision was. And in this type of setting, it was no problem. Jim has really become a koi and pond fish enthusiast. Uh huh. He's one of our biggest koi enthusiasts at Aquatica. Some beautiful fish, yeah. Did you see Harley? No, show me Harley. <laughs> is it the giant uh, butterfly koi there? This is Harley right here. That big butterfly koi. Yeah. That is a bruiser. Wow, Harley. <laughs> Can we see you feed Harley? That is one big fish. That's gotta be two feet long. 35 pounds. 35 pounds, jeez. How long have you had Harley? What's the story of Harley? I got him two years ago. Jim is a koi rescuer. When people are moving or koi outgrow their pond, we always call Jim to give him first opportunity at housing the koi. <laughs> How many koi do you have in here? I think 27. Okay, 27 big ones. Pretty good, yeah. So this side is the waterfall and stream that feeds the pond. Right here it separates, but from down there you can't tell, and this is just the pondless waterfall. With all of his bear statues, that is a cool bear statue. Look at that. Once again, just an amazing backyard property. And I'm gonna show you something here in a minute that might just blow your mind. But it's so typical and it's what I see all the time. So here's this guy that built his backyard up to just be an absolute paradise. Why would I even need to go to the north woods of Wisconsin now when I've got this? The reason I do these vlogs is to showcase what people can do because most people, when they think about a backyard, that's what they think about. That's the neighbor's yard. Same size lot, but look at the difference. That seems just so dead. This is just so alive. There's so much more action and it just feels so much bigger because there's so much going on. I mean, if you're gonna live somewhere for 27 years, you know, why not make it something like this? I gotta ask you, 27 years, um, the last seven you've lived it with it like this, right? Yes. I mean, that's quite a difference. What do people say that come here the first time? Oh, they're, they're just in awe. You know, it's, it's, they come down the path, 
I mean, look at them. This is nice. And I, I love their reaction when they turn to the left and then you see the whole thing. Same as my reaction. And I've seen ponds everywhere. This is truly a paradise. Thank you for your hospitality. Would you recommend Aquatica to somebody else? There's no one else. It's all because of Angie. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at Ronald McDonald House attached to a hospital, huh? Yes. Children's Hospital. And then Sky walks over to the Ronald McDonald House here. This is all where families with sick family members, usually kids, right? Yes. You know, could stay. And uh, and this is, is this it right here? This is it right here. All right. What hospital is this? Freighter Hospital and Children's Hospital. Okay. All right. So this was a project that you guys took on six, seven years ago. You said? Yep. About That's seven, a, eight years ago. What a beautiful garden. And uh, the gardens were being renovated. There was an existing feature here, and we ended up redoing it. It's a secret. I like the bridge. Wow, this is really nice. Yeah, right nice. off the parking lot, you know? Wonderful here. They got this right here. It is a little sanctuary. So you replaced an existing water feature. There's an existing land and stone pond here. Uh-huh. And uh, we just thought a nice, Oh, pond buddy. Just a real nice tucked in feature Are here. Are you being. kidding me? Look at how gorgeous this is. And that sound. You know how many people must sit on that bench? I almost want to cry right now. That is just beautiful. Who are you waving to? Mr. Phillips here. He's one of the volunteers at the gardens here. He's one of the, Inter the main catalysts, his wife Ann. Oh, ah, okay, great. Hi, Mr. Phillips. How are you? Good. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hi, nice to meet you. Can I get a hug too? <laughs> I'm the pond guy Greg Whitstock nice from Chicago you. and uh, Dean is our top customer out here in Wisconsin. So this is you and your husband kind of maintain this beautiful gardens or how does this work? Uh, well I'm the lead gardener. Uh huh beautiful. And we have 22 master gardeners so there's a team out here every day working uh -huh. in the garden. I can tell. How has this changed the space? How do people enjoy this? Oh my, there are no words. I could see that. This is a heartfelt place. You can Amen. Imagine. Amen. We have 70 families here. 70? They come from all over the world. But we have people who live in places where going outside is not what they would normally do. Yeah. It's not safe or it's just not part of their life, but everybody learns to love this garden. I had a very specific idea yeah, in my mind. Did. Yeah. Of what I, and I talked to a lot of people and I had a lot of people present plans but when um, I met Dean I told him if we weren't already married to you know other people ah. that I would have to marry him ah. that that that's gonna take the cake <laughs> because, you know, he got what you were saying he knew exactly what was in my mind yeah we were a great team yeah, hey we man I have a special place in my heart for Ann. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I didn't know that I would be coming to the Ronald McDonald house and finding a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> in the house and let tell they're 14. So I give a lot of tours to classes, school classes and scout troops and boy scouts, etc. Yeah. Just this week I had a group of third graders. So this little girl is standing here, she's about eight, and she said, which was here first? The water or the garden? That's great. Isn't that yeah. the best compliment? It's very perceptive too. Yeah. Wow. But that's kind of what Dean and I thought. Yeah. Someday, somebody's going to say which was here first. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and it was a young girl that did it. An eight-year-old. Uh, this is a meditation place, a place of, for people to come and just escape the challenging situation they're going through and have time to, you know, get away. It's also for the staff. Okay. And the volunteers. They have to. This is mm -hmm. a very heartfelt place to work. 
Yeah, and, and we've really become and part of the Ronald McDonald House family. Uh, we come here every week, maintain yes. this. It's not built out. This is something we do out of love. Good for you. You know, and it's just really uh, touched our hearts too to be a part of this. Just spectacular. It's a very joyful place too. It's a, a place. There's always somebody sitting there. Yeah. That's everybody's favorite place where you can sit and watch I could the birds see. and listen to the. Birds. I can see why. Yeah. It's nature surrounded by parking lot and buildings and structures. But when you come in here, the water just takes over. Yeah. It just drowns out all those other sounds. So yeah, I have a 15 year old son who was diagnosed with brain cancer 16 months ago. Oh my. And um, so we actually have been staying at the house every other week. Where are you for from? For over a year. Fond du Lac. And so how's he doing? Um, he's been doing okay. Yeah. Um, he's still continuing treatment, but um, this kind of cancer has a poor prognosis, so we're just kind of buying time and doing the best that we can and mm -hmm. enjoying this beautiful house. And so you, the water feature is part of your healing process? All the time, yeah. I started sitting out there in the mornings, especially on um, treatment mornings, because it kind of helps me find peace and get into a, a good mindset going over across the bridge to the hospital. So I often have my coffee there in the morning. And, yeah. Um, I like to sit there sometimes at night and just kind of regroup. Yeah. So I have my favorite spot in the garden, and I always say it's my unofficial seat. So your son actually enjoys coming here because he's got friends. He loves coming here. Like, really? Actually, his doctor had made the suggestion of going to every three weeks for chemo, and he was not having it. Like, he didn't like that idea because he wants to be here. Like, he wow. has a lot of friends and, and stuff at home because he missed his whole freshman year of high school. He would be going into his junior year, but he hasn't been to school. And he, this is his friends. These are his people. And there is another boy here who also is a teenager with cancer. And they they call each other cancer brothers, you know, because they yeah, have they a bond. Mm -hmm. They, like he said, they understand each other like nobody else does. You know? So this place is a true godsend. It is. It, it's literally when I come in um, and we check in stuff that I always come back down by the office and um, I say hi to the staff and I say, hey family, how's it going? Because they are our family. How you doing, young man? I'm good. I'm Greg. I'm Gavin. Hey, Gavin. And so your mom was saying how this is actually a fun place for you to come to, that you actually enjoy coming here. Why, why is that? Um, there's stuff to do. I got friends here, and my favorite dog comes in. So you have, you have a therapy dog here. Yes. Is, it a, is it kind of a doodle? or McNugget. Oh, no, he's kind of a Sydney. Oh, so oh, he does like yeah. McNugget. Oh, sorry. Sydney. 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 Do you have multiple dogs? Yeah. Well, we have dogs here. Yeah, there's a boy over there with all the dogs. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So you got a dog, and you got buddies that are here, and then your mom said you're going to a Brewers game tomorrow. Yeah, we are. You got a pretty dope mom. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, can you say that again? <laughs> well, good luck and good luck in your struggle, man. And uh, you know, we really, um, it's really an honor to be able to work at a place like this that uh, actually is doing good. You know, because if you didn't have this place, I don't. We often say we we don't even know. We're not even sure how we do treatment because, like, I don't drive, so we get rides here, and, and I mean, I don't even know if we didn't, if we couldn't stay here, there's no way we'd be able to. Right, because you're an hour away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't even know how we'd get here from a hotel. So mm -hmm. To have this is beyond the blessing. All right. Well, hey, stay strong, man. All right. Thank, thank you. you. So I just talked to a young man and his mom who's 15 and uh, has the same cancer that John McCain had, so it's... it's challenging prognosis as she said she said she literally comes in here and says hello family when she comes back and to have this garden and to have the kind of people that staff this place what a fulfilling job what a challenging job and what an amazing place aquascape itself in chicago has built that around the down house not a nice water feature is this um this is this is emotional because i just it's just amazing for me to think how blessed we are and the things that we take for granted. And uh, for Dean to be volunteering and taking care of this place, it just kind of shows you the kind of stand-up guy that he is and uh, how fulfilling 
this job is and this career in this industry is. I truly love my job and I'm truly a blessed man as we all are. Every day above ground is a good day and uh, just God bless this place and, uh, and, and God bless Dean for doing something like this. I love my job.